you as a coach make you sit through the whole game yet? Uh, not the whole game, but yesterday we did sit through uh, a fair bit of it. Uh, match review did go for a little longer than usual, so we had a lot to look at um, to understand why we got beaten so badly on the weekend. Did you come up with anything, anything in particular? Yeah, there was a lot of things, a lot of little things which culminated into it, to big things. We just didn't uh, play as a team. I think we uh, sort of went into our shells um, during the second quarter when they got a run on. They got lots of goals early in each quarter and every time that happened we just uh, kind of hid away and, and, and became, became, I'm not sure we became selfish, but we, we probably looked after our own interests and, and not didn't, I suppose, work as a team as well as what Collingwood do, and that's why they're so good at, um, you know, in the review you learn what you did wrong, but you also learn what a side does well and, and why they're so good. What are, some, what are your thoughts on some of the uh, big offers that GWS are reportedly making on players at the moment, at least from a player's perspective? Uh, well, I think we've, uh, most AFL players are just coming to accept GWS and Gold Coast and what they're able to offer to get into the market and to get good players. Um, it's, I think it, it is, I mean, it's a, a ridiculous amount of money that players are getting offered and, and are going to those clubs for, but at the same time, I can understand why they're doing it and I wouldn't begrudge, uh, you know, anybody for going up. I don't begrudge Gary Ablett for going. If, uh, if they're throwing those ridiculous amounts of money at you, it's, um, it's pretty enticing. Are you concerned any North players could uh, fall into GWS clubs in the next six or eight weeks? Uh, well, there's always a possibility. I wouldn't. Uh, I certainly hope we don't lose any players. I think we've got a really good core group of players. If we can keep over the next two or three years, that we'll go places with. So, money is enticing, but I think uh, a, a promising future with a, a team that can push into a, you know into the finals more so in the next few years. I reckon that's a, a pretty big carrot uh, as well. You're a one-club player. How much of a uh, precedent do you place on that? Obviously, if you can get the pace of more and more by the weekend. Uh, very important one club player. Um, I think with the, the new the, these new sides coming in, maybe we're going to see more movement of players in the coming years and, and less um, emphasis put on put on the one club player loyalty. Um, I reckon that um, the way things are going, we could see players moving around as much as they do in rugby league and then even overseas in the in the English Premier Leagues and those things. So I reckon there might be more player movement in the coming years. How much? Oh, I'm not sure it's going to be dramatic um, overnight, but um, with, I guess, nobody, everyone wants to start and finish at the one club, but now you're seeing two, two new sides, and if the AFL expand again with more sides, and then if, you know, they try and relocate sides, then if people want to, and, and people wanting to come back to their home states, for, for example, as well, so I reckon there'll be more movement in the coming years. Do you feel for guys like Tom Scully? Yeah, I do, yeah. He's, uh, he gets cornered a fair bit, and it's a bit. I think it's a bit uh, hard on the young fella. He's what's he? 19 years old, and he, he's getting uh, yeah, he's getting a lot thrown at him. And he's got a massive decision to make, I guess, on his future. And yeah, I do feel sorry for him. But it's kind of unfair that he, you know, in his second year of footy, he's not allowed just to play footy. He's he's being uh, touted as uh, you know a, a possible target for GWS. Worst things to be targeted, Yeah, oh, yeah. Well. I reckon it would be. You'd feel some sort of loyalty to the club that gave you the opportunity in the beginning and um, and to those teammates who helped you through those first couple of years. You'd feel loyalty to those people, but at the same time, um, he's got a, well, you know, he may have a great opportunity to um, be the start of something great up there in Western Sydney. Responding, sorry, responding this week uh, to what was a, a drubbing last weekend, how mm. important does it become now? Yeah, mightily important. Um, I think over the last probably 12 months we've spoken about being competitive with sides above us and in the top four especially and we've done a lot of talking about that but there's not been a lot of actions in, in response when it comes to game day so uh, I think we need to put the talking to one side and just get out there and, and prove our worth with our actions. There's been a bit of feeling between the two clubs especially last year with uh, Big Bad Barry. Uh, is it is yeah. it a bit of a grudge match sometimes against the Bulldogs? Uh, I don't think so. I think that was a, you know, a one-off very rare incident in a game of footy where we're, we're suburban neighbours and I think there's a bit of rivalry from that aspect but uh, they're going really well at the moment, won the last, I think it's four in a row and it's, they seem to have got their sort of their mojo back, the Bulldogs, with uh, Griffin and Cooney really you know, exploding out of, out of the centre and kicking some good goals so uh, it's, uh, 
it's a good challenge for us again to get the Bulldogs when they're flying. Continue to look forward, Mum. Can you tell us about uh, Mad Jack? <laughs> Good Jay. How are you, mate? Can you tell us about Mad Jack Dawes' improvement and what you've, how far he's come over the past two years? Uh, he's improved a great deal, Mad Jack. He's, uh, from when he first came here, I can still remember his first few training sessions. Uh, he was very raw, hadn't played footy for a whole lot of time, but this year we're seeing him do great things at Werribee. Um, you know, he's kicked some goals this year, which is one thing Ruckman needs to do. And, um, you know, there's been plenty of talk about when's Magic going to get his opportunity. And hopefully, uh, hopefully that comes soon. But um, he's still got a lot of improvement and needs to go a, a fair way before he gets that chance. But he played a bit of uh, NAB Challenge uh, games this year and was, was, um, was okay in those games. So he's, he's uh, heading in the right direction. Is it realistic that he could play a senior game this year? Or is that probably expecting a bit much? Um, it's probably expecting a little bit much, I'd say. Yeah, um, you don't want to throw a fella in and when he's not ready. Uh, I think that'd be probably the wrong way to do things. Mad Jack's playing consistent footy at VFL level, which is a great start. And, and once he can do that for a long period of time, then I reckon he's ready for the next step. Can you start? Coming back to you, um, the loss of the weekend, yep. Brad's been really publicly sort of optimistic and positive and supportive and stuff. But behind the scenes, has he been a bit tougher on you? And, and more demanding. Uh, I mean, the two are yeah. Sort of to a bit. Yeah, yeah. I certainly noticed this year he's he's risen the bar in his expectation level of the group. And from the match review we had yesterday, he certainly um, uh, put put it on a few blokes who, who didn't um, do the things that he asked during the game. So his his tone of voice did go up a little bit in yesterday's meeting, which is. Uh, I guess what footy coaches do and, and players need to respond when that happens. Have you been a bit frustrated? Yeah, really successful here. Today we have uh, a multicultural academy and an Indigenous academy, which uh, the uh, North Melbourne Football Club through the huddle have uh, developed over the last two years. So um, they're going to have a game here on Sunday and then they're going to walk to uh, Etihad Stadium and watch uh, the Bulldogs play ourselves. And I think. Uh, getting uh, people from all walks of life to come together and train um, and, and sport certainly a, a bridge in, in, in that sort of area. So it's, uh, it's been a positive uh, thing the footy club's done over the last two years. Thanks,